Uh, hey gang, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Cry of Fear. Um, so in the last episode, the very end of the last episode, we got some stuff about Simon. We don't know that it's about Simon, but this is a Silent Hill game. This is... This is a, there's a, there's a boss hallway at the end of Silent Hill 2 that's very similar to this, where you can overhear, um, a memory that James has. You play as a character named James, by the way. Uh, I think there's a few areas like it, and there's other areas like it in other Silent Hills, but this is very clearly a, uh, thing to talk about Simon. So something bad happened to Simon, and immediately afterwards, he's assaulted by psychological monsters, particularly psychological monsters. Um... Since they're, you know, ripped bare, they're skinless and bloody. And again, they have a feminine form. Uh, I believe I mentioned that prior. The sex of monsters is uh, actually pretty important. So I believe this hallway actually loops. So no matter how fast you go through it, you'll always end up at the same place. Let me get this out. So yeah, we can also see that the doctor here is not a fantastic medical doctor. Seeing as he just upped Simon's medication for no reason. So a classic in any survival horror game is back your ass up into a corner. It doesn't work as well in such close quarters. But in uh, most cases, in most survival horror games, enemies do not have a ranged attack, which is something I mentioned in uh, another episode. Yeah, enemies aren't really meant to have ranged attacks. So the game isn't really built for it. That went much better. Oh, okay. Uh, we can see face here. This is what the name of that enemy is. Uh, you obviously remember him from the first episode where he has that very iconic scare scene and the first real scare in this game. Um, however, this is another example of asset reuse, which, as you recall, asset reuse is we made this thing, we don't want to use it once, so we're going to put it somewhere in here again. And there we get a, a very simple example of a jump scare where we're spooked. But then uh, something takes away the danger of it, so it's just the scare. But we don't know that it's not following us. And again, this is a very psychological thing because it has the same filter on it as the very first part did. And somehow we're just back in this room. And instead of there being a hole in the floor, there's the fuse. Now seeing as this is empty, I think I'll just drop it here. And I'll save there. I feel... You know what? No. For God's sake. Because it's not that empty. It's still got some to go on it. So, you know. Okay, and now we're done here. I'm going to check upstairs just for the hell of it. Cool. Because, yeah, Suiciders will always give you ammo for this pistol, so it's always good to keep it on you. And a shotgun is just, like, it's usually a really solid weapon in any survival horror game, no matter what. Like, either it's your problem solver, you know, it's the it's the thing that you keep on you to, like, hey, there's, there's a fucking problem. Get out of the shotgun, you know? Or alternatively, I like how this has also been broken out. To allow this to happen it's a it's a very good reuse of the assets and of the map as well but anyway yeah, the shotgun it's either like this is what you call upon whenever you have a big big challenge or this is your go-to you know this is your number one guy this is what you keep in your hands either just for bosses or 90 percent of the time 
There's not a lot of in-between with a shotgun. They're just reliable weapons. That's why I call them workhorses. Because, like, in Doom, which is not very survival horror, um... But it uses some of the tropes. Uh, the shotgun is essentially your main weapon. You end up using it more than, like, you would the pistol. And again, and again, I want to mention how good this uh, reuse of assets is. I've talked about how asset reuse is just game designers being cheap. Because it's like, we don't want to make an asset that you only see once. And sometimes, you know, that's fair. You don't want to model a weapon that you use once. Unless it's like, this is the thing you kill the final boss with. Oh yeah, the blood on the wall. I need a ladder to climb out again, huh? Okay, well. Why don't we see where we can get a ladder, huh? Do, 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 do. Yeah, a lot of the changes here are very, very simple. But they are very effective in... Uh, creating a very scary atmosphere. Oh, and here we have the blood on the wall to help us, and we can get some air. That's good. Okay. So take a breath here. That was my mistake. I didn't take a breath there. Hmm. Nothing like the underwater segment of a game to really make you appreciate the physics engine. Half-Life has always had pretty solid water mechanics. I'll tell you what, like, I, I, I usually don't actually mind water levels too much. Uh, this is something I have in common with uh, some of my friends. Like, we, all, we often all like the... the token level that people hate. Like my friend Robert, you might have seen him around just because I'm on Steam and he's always on Steam as well. But my friend Robert, that motherfucker loves Ice Worlds. And it's because he prefers the snowy aesthetic and so doesn't mind all the slipping around and shit. And I'm the same way. I usually don't mind water levels too much. Maybe it's because I'm a Pisces. So whenever you go into here, your light always turns down and you can't see with it. Because it's acting as the lantern. Am I supposed to get through here? Okay, I am. Sorry for wasting everyone's time. Uh, I'm going to check down here because... Ooh, probably can't open it. Yep. So in a classic uh, Half-Life, and I believe... Actually, I don't know if it's classic Half-Life. But in Half-Life 2, um, and possibly the other one, you can only use certain weapons underwater. And that's the, uh, the pistol and the... I saw the ladder, by the way. I know it's there. Also, yeah, you can speed up your uh, your swim by sprinting underwater. Nice. The only weapons that you can use underwater are the pistol and the... Pistol and the crossbow. The pistol because it's um, one of the most reliable handguns in the world. I think it's a, meant to be a Beretta in the original Half-Life. Right, now I will put this whole ladder in my pocket. But yeah. Beretta is one of the most reliable handguns ever created. I'm partial to the uh, single action army. That is the weapon of choice for Revolver Ocelot and the uh, state gun of my home state, Arizona. So, obviously. 
And because I didn't plan ahead, I was on, I was legitimately thinking, I should leave this behind. I should leave this ladder behind. No, I should leave the fuse behind here because I'm obviously going to need to go get the ladder. And it'll take him an inventory slot. Again, I'm just salty at the uh, inventory system they used. I really think that there should be more. Because I haven't had the hunting rifle on me in hours. Wheelchair accessible. Now we gotta go get the fuse, because they didn't want to leave a weapon, because, you know. As I've already discussed, I don't really want to leave the shotgun. And, uh, as for the M16, I mean, Christ, it's an M16. That's another one of them best guns ever. Um, also, it's a new weapon, so I feel like they're going to give me more ammo for it. I'm not sure if there's a consistency to how they give out ammunition. Because, um, like, I didn't use the VP90 or 60. I might be dyslexic, don't mind me. Or discal or discalculic or dysgraphic, but you know. Um, I didn't use the VP the the machine pistol worth shit. Even though it looks red and like it's a pistol with a stock and I love that, because I love RE4. Um but like yeah, that thing looks great, but I didn't use it for anything, but they keep giving me ammo for it. I I wonder if they're gonna give me the opportunity to get guns again, you know? Because they give me a few chances to get the nightstick. And away we go. Probably going to be some foes out here. No. All right. Save this game. I started to rotate my saves more since I was reminded of the importance of it while recording. Especially after I lost that episode of Honest Hearts. I almost killed myself. So the Facebook enemy. I can't remember what they're actually called. It's something ominous like the stranger. You know, some shit like that. Alright, back into the sewer shits. <sighs> sewer levels, man. What is it? Now, I was told to hug the right side. Which I guess in this case would mean the left side. Oh yeah, that does work. Fantastic. And I've already cleared it out, so I guess I'll be fine. Fantastic. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I was also told that I should uh, drop all the flares, so I'm not going to bother picking those up again. Even though they're interesting as a game mechanic, ultimately they're not as good as the actual light. And there is also a flashlight that you can attach to the Glock, however I believe I've missed it. Which is a shame because that's apparently the best flashlight in the game. Ladder up. So I don't know if that's an intentional reference, but there's this part in Silent Hill 2 where you drop down uh, pits. And you drop down pits, like, honestly, seven or eight times. And it's meant to be symbolic of, like, falling into hell and shit. You also go down stairs and ladders, so, like, there's overall, like, 12 descents in that chapter. It's in the, the fourth segment, or the third segment, rather. The, the prison. All right, so I intended to go up. Jesus, that scared me. That honestly really just scared the shit out of me. Because she didn't make any noise or give me any warning that she was there. I just turned the corner and boom. Samara. The girl from The Grudge. Oh, my ex-wife. <laughs> Buh, 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 buh. 
oh wait 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 yes i actually found it yeah 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 oh my god that is so bright that is amazing so the tack light also requires you to uh, have it one-handed which is to say that you can't use the can't use anything else with it but can you argue with the results? That also means that I did that sewer section without the best light in the game, which is a little unfortunate, but... What can you do? What can you do? Now, because it's a graphic, it gets smaller when you point it at walls, which I guess is uh, realistic. But yeah. Oh, nice. Look at that. You know, on the other hand, I guess it really wouldn't matter if uh, I dropped the Glock because oftentimes I get a, a replacement gun. Wow, all right. I'm feeling pretty kitted out for the next area where I'll probably lose all my stuff, right? Okay, I need I need a less powerful light because it's so bright, it's blowing this game out. Oh, is it? I think it's this way, right? Yep, here we are. Here I come, motherfuckers. Oh, how does it feel to be... Trapped in darkness. And look, they made it... They put a little ramp on there to guide you back in. Not quite wheelchair accessible, but, you know. Hey, me saying that will make sense later in the game, by the way. Just uh, FYI your own information. Now I can go all the way back. Hell yeah! Well, this is great. Uh, I feel really good about my progress. It's a shame that it came... Where am I? 11 episodes in? Now, because I've neglected to kill the fools at the bottom of the escalator, I w- Uh-oh. Oh, thank God. The game started crashing for a second and I almost cried. Like, no! How dare you! I've made so much progress. So you may be able to see me doing a serpentine here. Bip, 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 bip. Yeah! How will you ever defeat me? I'm so quick. Oh, yeah. Alright. I have to pee so bad. So I'm going to save this game. I'm going to take a break. We're all going to come back. I had coffee this morning. But yeah, we finally opened this fucking door. Hell yeah. All right, and we're back. I should have fixed the... Uh... God, excuse me. Hold on. Whoop. Let's check some audio stuff. Turns out that for some reason I rendered the last episode. Only partially. But there was still an outro on it. Right. Right. Okay. So, um, for those not familiar, in Silent Hill 1 and 2, uh, the hunting rifle is the best gun. It's dead ass. It's just the best. Let's get this going, actually. Wow, I don't like that one bit. Okay, I saw this on the internet. Yeah, see? Look at that. So you can just run up to them, and they'll shoot themselves. 
And by the way, now I guess I do have to keep the Glock on me. Because it has the light on it. See? No ammo wasted. I might even be able to reload this thing when just waste all these shots. Let's finish scoping the joint. That looks like everything, though. Let's go up. In the real world, I really do enjoy riding escalators. Um... So yeah, I'll keep this. I wonder. I wonder if this wall with holes in it that's already bowed out slightly is going to break. Let's see. Wow. Really? Nothing? Now it's even too far to see. What a red herring. Yeah. No entry? That doesn't mean much for Mr. Simon. Haven't you heard? I've got serious depression. Frame rate's getting choppy. Okay. Well, I'll just take my four guns. <laughs> I want my feet back. Oh my god, that's... What? <laughs> that's like the funniest thing I've ever seen. <laughs> I want my feet Hilarious. Okay, let's save this game. Uh, here. And then I don't know where to go from here. Thought there was something creepy outside. Also, there's a little lamp here for some reason. Ominous cardboard box. Every time I see these fucking pens, I think that they're a syringe, and I get disappointed every time. Do I have to get on a thing? How do I go about this? I just got up here, right? Oh. May as well top off. They're definitely sending me forward with, uh... I'm being kept up here, certainly. Wait, here we go. I'm in Hanson Square now. I live in Kirkville, so I need to head there somehow. Okay. So what's the sitch? Train. Should I have picked up like a ticket? Like I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if you can hear me, but I'm going through mashing the use key on some of these seats in the hopes that I'll sit in one. 
I um so early on in hmm that's a good sign right maybe it's one of those you know train stripper poles yeah. dog smart is this an ad for a weed dispensary I asked because that looks like the pot leaf Ooh. Sorry, AR-15. Wait, no. It's the M-16. But it says AR-15 there. <laughs> that thing is fucking heavy. Strange, the door can't be opened now. Good sign. Um, so there's this... He didn't even scare me, he just interrupted me. Where did he go? I was going to mention... There's a scene in Silent Hill 3 where you're on a train for uh, part of a level. Roped off apartment. That's what we're saving for. Go to hell, Michael Myers. Oh, and there's another fella out here. Yeah, my all melee build isn't going well. Then again, I'm on easy. It's such a slow fucking weapon, though. God damn. Okay, let's make another check down here. Because it said the door can't be opened now and that that was strange. Alright, one moment. Checking the walkthrough. Hey y'all, guess what? I was right. Guess where I'm taking this fucking thing. We're going to break the walls down. Because you must take this sledgehammer and punch through that wall. Which honestly is so simple, I really should have thought of it. Come on. It's so heavy it takes stamina to sing because I, I guess they had seen Dark Souls. Yeah, Brax. Okay. So now we're back here. Okay. That's kind of cool. Was that here last time? Because I didn't notice it. I'm of the opinion that that is dope. Oh, and it's happening again. Okay, I'm liking where this is going. <sighs> Creepy guy in a cage cutting himself. Hey, uh, just remember everyone. Uh, oh, another one. The themings of this game are self-harm and uh, self-loathing. And being trapped and unable to move. Simon does have a pretty impressive, uh, jump. Good set of legs on him, I guess. This is really cool. I didn't anticipate this. I thought this was going to be more typical. Oh, God. I like that there's no explosion. Oh, it's just called... Hmm. The name of this area is just the noise that Minecraft villagers make. <sighs> Shit, fuck. See, I do it no problem the first time. And then I fuck it up every time after. 
It's a cool area, though. It's a cool area. I feel like so few people got here. You know? Like, I feel like a lot of them gave up and... <sighs> uh, there you go. Again, we're having to work Simon's fat ass around. Uh, let's get this out. Because I want a little light. Actually, that's not really doing it. I want a big light. And it's just absorbed by the blackness. That's kind of rad. Alright, where are we going from here? Because that leads down into hell. That looks kind of safe, I guess. Ooh, that's... I'm not sure if that's intended. That doesn't feel right. Oh, come on. I hit the jump button and everything. It's a really cool sequence. Although the jumping... Like I said, this is Gold Source we're talking about. It doesn't really lend itself well to jumping puzzles. There we go. Um, and again, that's just another thing that's weird about this game being developed on an engine that was 15 years old when this game came out. Like, this game looked like shit when it was new. There we go. And like, I feel like that's unfortunate because there's a lot of interesting ideas in this game. It reminds me of like a Mobius strip. Okay, we're gonna need some light. Oh, well that is with light. What if a Mobius strip was like a really, really complicated, like, pole dance move? Monsters Incorporated? So for those who don't know, um, one of my last names is Sullivan, Alfred Sullivan, and uh, Monsters Incorporated came out when I was in kindergarten. Oh, we're in a padded room. My life. That fateful night, the child lay on the road broken. Actually, wait, let me finish my thing. Um, Monsters Inc. came out, so everyone called me Sully. And if you want to call me Sully, that's fine. It's a cool name. Anyway. That fateful night, the child lay on the road broken. Why'd you have to walk that way so late, young man? Why'd you have to be so foolish, disillusioned, and embittered by his parents' words? The child was broken physically and mentally. The men in white placed him in the rolling chairs. How he laughed, how he laughed. And so he lived what remained of his life. One day, fate smiled upon the child, and so he came upon the implement of his destruction. Decisions, decisions. The outcome was not certain. Pro captu lectoris, haben su fata libelli. My life. I wonder who that's about. Anyway, so yeah, some kid uh, got hit by a... Okay. Some kid got hit by a car. Okay, so gun leads to gun. What does car lead? Oh, wait, it's this. Child. Rolling chair. Okay. So, I guess I have to go in order. So first he was hit by the car. Then he was placed in the rolling chair. He came upon the implement of his destruction. And he read a book. <laughs> you will not survive. I guess that's different from you will die. What happens if I go back? Oh, straight up. Uh, pro captu lectoris habent libelli. Does that mean reading? Like library? I don't know. Oh, this is cool. It's a twisting hallway. That's clever. I like that. 
and we're going into another blood room. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, let's unpack that, huh? So... Oh my god, you're kidding me. So it's another... I see. Um, well, the save point was right. So that's another monster that has... That is trapped in place. And it's moved around against its will. I don't even think it's malignant in its movement. I think it just is. You know? It's not that it's going anywhere. It's just being shifted around. Because it doesn't turn to come at me. It's just going. Um, and all it can do is kind of just like sling its head around. It's straight jacketed. Implying some kind of a mental health thing. And as well, it's trapped in this prison. Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. This is fucking complicated. This is kind of great, though. It's like, hey, here's this fucking puzzle. Figure it out, stupid. Did that guy change direction? I'm not sure. Like, it gives you the map. And the only time is how much time you take to find the, the way out. I'm trying to hit E to close out of things, and that's not really how it works, which is unfortunate. Can I get another map here? Oh boy. So yeah, um, all it can do is, you know, lash its tongue around. You know, you can almost think of it as talking, you know? So all it, it's trapped there, and all it can do is be pushed around out of its own power and talk. And because it is hurting me, one could see that as an implication of a desire to hurt. You know, it wants to lash out. It wants to hurt things. But it can only do it if things get close to it. Now let's go ahead with a crazy idea here. Based on what we've heard, what if Simon was the one hit by a car? trapped in a wheelchair. And what if all he wants to do is lash out at people? But he really can't. Because he's stuck in his wheelchair. Oop, shit. Now, that's just a theory here. Suffered severe spinal damage in the accident. It's a miracle he still retains upper body. He can't move his lower body. Waist down, however, there is no Someone that the doctor is, not you know, the mental trauma he suffered. From what I can tell, Simon is a deeply there you go. individual who had mental problems even prior to the accident. And you can see here Simon's legs go dead, and he has to drag himself. Because in the real world, oh my God, it's a little soul patch. Holy fuck! In the real world, Simon is paralyzed from the waist down. Was close. He was the one hit by a car. He wants to kill himself to get out of it. Is he still there? What the fuck? <laughs> Wasn't this where I came from? Oh, that's great. 
no, no, no. Something is obviously not right. I should hurry, man. Before something else happens. So, yeah. Recall that I said that this game is basically a Silent Hill game. Get at me. And you. And you, come on. Oh, you. Am I blinking off of him? Sorry, I'm just trying to focus here. Oh, just kill me. Come on. Do it. Do it now. We can get a good look at him, though. See, that's why all of the enemies are trapped in their place. Oh, shit. Alright, I'll be right back whenever I'm back. Hey, and we're back. Uh, sorry about that. I forgot that there, this game doesn't really have Holy checkpoints, fuck. as it were. Just, you know, hey, save it whenever you can. So yes, um, Simon was injured in a car accident, which forced him to. Wasn't this where I came from? Oh man, I just remembered what I have to do. Uh, Simon was injured in a car accident. As a result, couldn't do nothing. And before the car accident, he was already suicidal and uh, had some serious issues. So you can see that we're back here somehow. It should be impossible. Okay. I want to try and kill these fools. Okay, I think I heard him based on the fact that he moved. See, these guys ended up being problems for me. There you go. Now let's see if I can position myself to... No, that's not, that's not the case. Hey, fucker, do it. it. Yeah, really good, really good shot of it there. Now do it. Okay, and now let's get this out. What the fuck is happening? I got hit with an attack that lags the game. There he is. Very nice, Simon. Very nice. So all the girls are impressed with you. Wow, yeah, I'm full. Bro, I don't even want or need your pistol. So, yes. In the real world, Simon is unable to use his legs and he's stuck in the wheelchair. They got rid of a fucking thing. It's fantastic. Now we've got to get these goddamn motherfucking fuses again. Some guy. Uh, one of the one of the things that I'm using as a uh, as a way to get me through this fucking game. Um. One of the guys is usually pretty conversational. Uh, the the video uh, walkthrough guy is usually pretty conversational, and he starts the video. He's like, "I'm so fucking sick of these goddamn fuses." It's like my dad watching a football game. Oh boy.
Wait, hold on. Let me check. Guess he's back. Uh, I just did that thing where I forgot to actually hit record. But yes, I grabbed the fuse. Where does this go? Because this is new area I'm getting into here. Um, someone told me that I should make damn sure that I have the M16 on me. And I am going to... Um, only get one fuse at a time, which will make this slower. Someone suggested I drop the hunting rifle, but I'm not about that, son. Yellow doors. Come on, video game. So uh, I mentioned in the part that I didn't fucking record because I'm a ding dong. We're getting to a part of the game that uh, I remember fondly, although I don't actually know if it's good or not. There were some moments uh, when I was off camera just running around looking for shit. Step in my toe. There were some moments that I uh, really enjoyed the atmosphere. I was like just taking it all in and like, ah, oh, you know? Uh, and I was reminded of why I was so excited to play this game. And I know that that was like fucking 10 episodes ago. I want my fucking feet back. That. That's so fucking funny. <laughs> yeah, someone recommended that I keep the M16 over the shotgun, so... I might do that. Door still can't be opened. Where am I taking these fucking things? But yeah, there, there's just... There's a really good feel from it all. Um, it was when I was just going around the city, I think. Oh, here we go. Oh, we're doing this again, huh? I want to grab the M16 and bring it out here. It is really weird that it is called different guns. There we go. Yeah, apparently coming up, there's an enemy that dies in three shots, and if you use the burst fire, just basically pointing and clicking at the enemy will kill them, so... I'll drop it here because I still need to carry that fuse. But I'll be able to find it easy, though, so... Not too big a dealio. And you know what? I can cut here so it's not too long of a trip back. And hey, we're back, everyone. Wait. Yeah, I need this. All right. Come on, you fucking motherfucker. Oh, I should have saved, huh? Yeah, I haven't saved in a while. This could be trouble. Yeah, there are some really good parts in this game. It's a game that it isn't too bad to just get lost in. As I said, I think it does, you know, need some polish, new engine, and a fresh kind of paint. To the train. Sitting here like a fool. Feels like it was just a few seconds ago I was traveling here. No. Think. I got hit by a car, woke up, and these 
things have been trying to kill me since. I mean, what is actually happening with me? We know, but he doesn't. Mom keeps telling me to get home, but why? How would that solve any of the crazy shit I've seen? I can't even contact the police here. Everything is just... Fucked. He has such a way with the words. Could it be that I'm just... Hallucinating? No, s seriously. Am I? Or is there something else? I feel like I'm in one of those hallways from the Flintstones or Scooby-Doo where it's a very obvious, like, four-second loop. Crazy old man. But could he have done something to me? Seeing as he wears a gas mask. Or is all this just not real? I'm confused. I'm just... Very confused. So many questions, but no answers. I'll see what happens when I come home. So, having played a Silent Hill game, and with me talking to everyone about it, we know what's happened. Simon is having a weird dream of some kind? That part isn't exactly clear. We're still working on that. I want my feet back. That's so funny. That's fucking hilarious. Simon's having a weird Silent Hill dream. Right. I just, yeah. Why or how isn't clear. And if In Afraid of Monsters, it was because uh, you kept taking pills. Shit. Oh god. In Afraid of Monsters, it was because you kept taking pills. You know, the, the basic item that healed you was also the item that, um, adjusting my mic stand, was also the item that, uh, caused you hallucinate. Caused you to hallucinate, excuse me. Making it, you know, a vicious cycle of getting hurt more and having to take more drugs. It's really hard to avoid them since I'm in such a tight area. Oh, that's nice. We get to see outside that. That's really cool. Oh, we saw the texture. That's not right. Okay. Yeah, this is very Silent Hill 3. Right here. Like, a scene inside a train. Like, this exact thing happens like two hours into Silent Hill 3, I think. Oh, they give me another M16 here. Well, that's nice. Let's set that to three. I'm guessing that's a little fill up before we get to the boss of the train or whatever. Or a tougher area in the train. <laughs> Controlled shots and aim for the center of mass. Just like they taught you. Oops. They didn't uh, think you were going to have to bob and weave through uh, monsters of your own nightmares, but you know. Into each life some rain must fall. Oh my god. Is that what I think it is? One moment, I'll be... Come back later. I don't want any right now. Yeah. 
Yep. That's the foot. Oh my god, it's a key item. Well, let's drop shotgun. <laughs> I must be crazy carrying this around. Simon, you're not crazy for that, bud. I'll tell you that for free. So it's kind of annoying that um, the Glock is the thing that gets the light. Because it's the only weapon that already had light. You know what I mean? Every other weapon already had, um, you know, darkness, just because you can't dual wield the phone and another gun besides the Glock. I guess it all, all it really does is make it so that the Glock is brighter than dual wielding the Glock and a phone. Um, and that dual wielding or single handing the, the light Glock is brighter than um, the Glock and a melee weapon. Or rather, uh, the phone and a melee weapon, but... I mean, it was already... Pretty clear that... Uh... Yeah, where am I here? It was already clear that, like, a melee weapon is just inferior. <laughs> oh my god, that's such a Silent Hill puzzle. <laughs> Oh, that's fantastic. That is absolutely fantastic. Oh, it hit a penny. Oh, it's going cray-cray now. You know, Simon, this is what happens when you take the train to... the cliff. Shit. My back. Oh, shut up. They're Hubbard! Excuse me, I'm a little... Mm. That's cool, though. This reminds me of Uncharted 2, although I think that this game is actually before Uncharted 2. Now, how do I get out of here? Oh my god, I have to jumping puzzle up it, huh? Hong Kong, beep, beep, government gridlock. This is disorienting as shit, man. Is Markiplier the most famous person to ever play this game? I guess PewDiePie might have played it. Mark probably got through this, right? Mark's really good about finishing games that he really likes, and this game is pretty good. Oh my god, you're joking. Simon, your fat ass is jiggling everything around in here. You gotta go, son. I'm trying. Oh, that makes it easier. Is that scripted to just happen? Oh my god. Should just happen at certain predetermined train points? Train the name of the band who's like Soul Sister. What a shitty song. Oh boy. People always people have started to comment on how uh, I seem to be using my LPs as a vehicle for my extremely specific fuck. Fuck. Uh, opinions. There we go. get up there. I wonder if it's um, just because they needed to put something here. Or if it's uh, meant to drive the point home. Because in the real world... Well, that'll happen. In the real world, Simon would have no chance here because... 
He's in a wheelchair. Okay, that appears to be predetermined to happen. Unless I fucked it up. Shit. Remember the adage, Alfred. House words. Nothing wastes more time than trying to save time. A system though. Oh, it's bad. Now, where do I go from here? Okay. Okay. Yeah, specific use of the crouch jump appears to be um, really important here. I've had to relearn the gold source crouch jump as well. What is happening? There we go. Now, as soon as I get off... Yeah, there you go. Here we go. Let's do this in darkness. Although my favorite weapon is, is coming up. The interior is destroyed. It's not going to work. Yeah, there's no place to sit. I should probably get one of those lanterns. Better than nothing, I guess. Okay, no joke. This is my favorite weapon in the game. It's just a stick. On oh, God, it's just a stick. And again, we can see that Simon might be a lefty because he uses his left hand for fighting. Although, again, it could be that there's a lettering on the lantern. I don't know what that was. There's lettering on the lantern, and if they put that in the left hand, the lettering will be backwards, so it'll read Nepo. All right. So you're able to, because they give you a few of the lanterns, you're able to drop them willy-nilly and light your way. But also, wherever they are, they will light your way automatically, so. And we can come, we've come to another concrete building again, see? See, so yeah, I love that Simon is just willing to pick up a fucking stick. Like, you know what the best weapon is in Silent Hill 2? It's a board. Just a wooden board that James just picks up. Like, he sees a monster, he looks around for a second, he sees a wooden board, I don't even think it has nails in it or anything, and he just picks it up and kicks the monster's ass with it. Now, I mentioned that the hunting rifle is the strongest weapon in Silent Hill 2. It is, but the thing is, um, the board in Silent Hill 2 does not use ammunition. So even though it's not the most powerful weapon, it has its uses of being able to conserve the player's ammunition. It's also light enough that the player is able to swing while moving, which is something they can't do with a lead pipe. Or I guess it's a steel pipe. Uh, with the pipe, you have to, you know, stick yourself in place and swing. Uh, I will admit I am a little lost here. Uh, I'm recording in the day, as you may be able to see. That's uh, 1,500 hours, which is 3 o'clock. Although we're getting to 1600 hours or 4 o'clock for mortals. This is where I just was. Okay, cool. Well, that means that this is the starting zone. At the starting line. Yeah, this is a game that I much prefer it being in first person than third person because Simon just looks so dopey. Oh my god. 
they didn't turn off the collision, so if you put your hand into this wall, it covers the lantern because your hand's in the wall. That is really stupid. Free game. Oh, I seize it. I see what they're trying to get me to do. Oh, there's... Looks like there's moths around it. Nah. Oh, Christ. Oh, Grace. Huh. just going to be a little silence here while I work on this. My, I keep like slipping off this side of the rock. I don't know what the deal is. But I feel like this is the way to go. Yeah, see? There you go. Bish bash bosh. Now, I'm hoping that they would put in the enemies here. Because there hasn't been a save point yet. And I will have to redo the prior area with the jumping puzzle. Should I die? But maybe here, I'll find some goodies. It's crap. Oh boy, okay. Let's keep on, keep it on. Now there's the, there's a very significant threat here somewhere in the woods. And I'm on the lookout for that, but I cannot remember when and where they show up. Oh, you can see the city, though. That's nice. Kind of interesting that Simon doesn't live in the city. And he just commutes by train back and forth. Or maybe this these woods aren't really supposed to be here and his train took a detour. Or maybe this is where the real Simon came to kill himself. Morbid, to be sure, but... God, have you seen this game? The primary theme of this game is depression and suicide. I thought I was just about to step in a fucking bear trap. <laughs> oh. Okay, one moment, everyone. Actually, uh, something I, I just noticed that I've been recording for like an hour and 20 minutes. So this episode is going to be really long unless I cut it here. So I am going to cut it here, even though it is already long. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. We're getting into the really good part of the game that I like. Uh, thanks for coming. I've been Alfred. This has been Cry Fear. Free on Steam. Um, first couple hours suck. They don't suck. I'll get into that later. But uh, there's a lot more good stuff to come. I'll see you guys then. Bye.